Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars. And here we have a story that I wish I didn't have to tell, but it's got to be put out in the open. Special Agent Taylor Johnson of ICE, Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, uh, was fired because she uncovered fraud, waste, and abuse in ICE and was trying to expose it. The DHS got involved with this and decided to offer a $100,000 severance package, which is basically hush money. In other words, I told her to keep her mouth shut. Here's $100,000, you're out of here, keep your mouth shut. Taylor Johnson refused it. Good for her. As it gets worse from there, Special Agent Taylor Johnson, who has had a storied career until she worked Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid by objecting to a visa program for foreign investors tied to the Senator's son, says she declined to take a 100000 severance package because it included a non-disclosure agreement. So, to break this down, here we have open criminal activity on part of ICE and Harry Reid and DHS. Gee, what a great use of taxpayers' money that would have been paying one not to talk about what's already got nationwide nationwide coverage when she talked about it before Congress. I hadn't heard this, but uh this is bad news. This shows you the level of the corruption that's in our uh, government. DHS Acting Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs told Todd Biesel, that's not going to happen, did not respond to multiple inquiries about the reason for Johnson's dismissal and why they tried to buy her silence. Despite all media coverage of the case, including a Washington GAD flight report that ICE press secretary with the approval of B was peddling confidential information to discredit her in a violation of Privacy Act. Taylor's not surprised by that she got the boot. My entire chain of command was appointed by Obama, she remarked. They can do anything they want. Well, there you go. In testimony last June to the Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Government Affairs, Johnson says she was stripped of her gun and badge without explanation after discovering fraud and abuse. Some of the violations investigated surrounding the project, including bank from wire fraud, and I discovered ties to organized crime and high ranking politicians, and they received promotions that appeared to facilitate the program, Johnson said. She said during her investigation in 2013, she discovered that EB-5 applicants from China, Russia, Pakistan, and Malaysia had been approved as, in as little as 16 days, and that case files lack the basic and necessary law enforcement queries. At ICE, Johnson had amassed many awards and never had any disciplinary problems. Everything changed abruptly in 2013 when she invoked the ire of Senator Reid by holding up visas for a foreign investor in a Las Vegas casino represented by his son, attorney Corey Reid. So uh, Danny didn't like it when when his... uh, Son wasn't able to get any uh, employee, chief employees that he wanted from overseas because this woman h- held things up. So, 
Senator's office complains to Johnson's special agent in charge. She is then placed on administrative leave without explanation on October 13, 2013. Under pressure from Senate Democratic staffers, Johnson did not mention in her testimony the role that Reed's office played in her office in her ouster, but the DHS Inspector General concluded in the report last March that U.S. Customs and Immigration Services Director Alejandro Mayorkas intervened in an unprecedented manner to approve EB-5 visas for the Las Vegas casino investors after pressure from Reed's office. I guess they're investors, not employees, or whatever. But here we have the corruption of Harry Reed uh, getting involved in something which he had no right to do. DHS has never given any pu public explanation for the disciplinary action it took against Johnson after the hearing. A DHS spokeswoman said they did not talk about personal matters, personnel matters. Excuse me. But this past December, ICE press secretary Gillian Christensen signing. Confidential information from Johnson's file tried to convince this reporter off the record that she was a dishonest and problem employee, which was a lie. This argument is going to be even harder to peddle now that the department would have allowed Johnson to leave with a clean record and $100,000 in spending money she promised to keep her mouth shut. Johnson is soliciting do donations on GoFundMe.com to cover legal fees for a possible federal lawsuit. Well, well, well. So, we'll break this down. Well, Daddy didn't like it because this woman held up visas for some foreign investors who didn't Uh, meet the requirements, and Daddy didn't like it, so he had her fired to cover his uh, son, Danny uh, Harry Reed. That son of a bitch is so dirty. I gotta tell you, Senator Reed, if you're up to me, you would be in an orange jumpsuit right now, serving out a life sentence without parole. You, sir, are a criminal, nothing more. Of course, I don't know, is he still in the Senate? If he is, he ought to be removed. Say, it was visas for a foreign investor in Las Vegas casino represented by his son, attorney Corey Reed. So that's what uh, she was holding up visas for. Uh, Senator Reed has no right to do this. He he is a crook. All right, let's call him what he is. So here you have a mentally disordered liberal, Harry Reid, committing essentially a crime, and probably getting away with it too. Typical. I'm Artifacts from Mars. Thanks for watching.